Welcome to another Casio watch unboxing. Today's Casio is going to be the AE 1300 WH-8AV. It is a very nice watch that I purchased from Yuzuki Japan. I got it for around $20 on sale, but if you are going to buy it straight from Casio for full retail, it's $29.95. I purchased it here and they do carry all major brands at this place. If you shop around, you'll be able to find something on sale here always. For the past couple months, I've been buying all my watches at this location. Before we get to the unboxing of the watch, I'm just going to go through some of the paperwork that came with it. And This is your warranty card that comes in six different languages. It's pretty standard with all the watches that I've been getting. And here is your owner's manual, <clears throat> or user's guide they call it. It is a 3426 module in this particular model. And it is a very beautiful watch for the $20. And it comes in many languages. And I'm sure you could download this manual offline if you just Google it. Let's pull it out of the box and get to the watch. And then I'll put it on the stand after we take a quick look at it. Now that it's out of the case it comes with the little tag from Casio and it does have your barcode and there's the full model number of the watch and then this is the color of it. It does come in many different colors this watch. There was a red one that I liked a lot but the price was a couple dollars extra. This was the cheapest color I could find in this model. That's why it was 20 bucks. And I still do like it a lot, this color. It's very neutral. And then there's the module number, the four, the 3426. And uh, this one's kind of a very casual color. It kind of goes with everything. The black with like a gunmetal gray almost. And it is a <clears throat> four-button watch by Casio. Um, it does have the illuminator in it and an afterglow. And it is an amber color. We'll take a look at it at the end and put it in the dark and see how well the light on the watch works. This particular model is says it does have the 10-year battery life and it does come with a CR2025 battery inside from what it says on the Casio website. A little look on the back still with your stampings. There's the China. And it is a resin clasp, a resin band, and uh, it is a resin glass on this watch with a resin bezel. It does not have a mineral glass. One of the things that it does not have is it does not have a raised edge for protection like some of the other Casios. That's one of the reasons they probably didn't use a mineral glass. So if you hit this on something... It's not going to crack. It might scratch a little bit, but it will not crack. Some of the other Casios, like the solar-powered one, it has this little raised lip, and that gives you a little added protection <clears throat> for the watch. This AE1500 has approximately a 40-gram weight. It is an ultralight watch. It has a few different modes on it. It has your world time with 29 time zones. It has a 1 one hundredth of a second stopwatch. It has your countdown timer. It has a daily alarm built into it. And the light again is a amber color and it does have the afterglow and the illuminator but it does not have the function that as long as you hold the button the light stays on. Very few Casios have that function and I only have one G-Shock with that function. It is a 100 meter water resistant and the size of this watch from top to bottom is 45 millimeters. Um, it is 42.1 millimeters wide and it is 12.5 millimeters thick the watch. It is a thin watch and probably going to be very comfortable to wear for everyday use for any kind of activities. It is a little bit smaller than a credit card if you put it next to it for size comparison. 
it has the 12 24 hour time mode on it and then let's hit some buttons now for a second and go through the buttons real quick there's your stopwatch your timer your international your world time your alarms and it goes back to your time and I do like how this has every second and every time it hits 10 another one of these goes over this will go to 6 and then every minute this goes over and then every 10 minutes this resets it kind of has its own little timer built into it in the dials it's kind of a really nice touch by Casio on such a bargain watch something for twenty dollars I would not expect to have the quality of a watch that this watch has it is a very beautiful piece it does have some little indentations here under the glass but you cannot push these these are not buttons they're just for looks only I thought it were little buttons when I was originally looking at the picture online but they're not they're actually under the glass and you can't touch them it does look like it would have had screws here but it does not it's just all a a resin bezel around it one piece on the back of the watch it has your Casio with your module number the 3428 and a model number the AE 1300 WH stainless steel and it is a hundred meter water resistant or 10 bar depending where you are in the world and it is a made in China model it does have the positive display on it which I really do like it's very easy to see and read I put it on my wrist so we can do a little wrist roll and see what it looks like there's plenty of extra bands if you have a big wrist my wrist is approximately seven and a half inches it does show itself very beautifully if you are wearing this watch something that looks like it would cost a lot more money when you use the light on this watch it is a three second only you cannot change it from one second to three seconds if you push it it has a little afterglow so it stays on the complete three seconds of the watch but it is super bright and the whole face and everything lights up I don't know if you can hear it I'm gonna hold it close to the microphone it does make noises when you hit the buttons you can turn that on and off if you want the buttons to be silent it is pretty nice I like actually hearing my buttons when they're being pushed and comparison to a another watch in size It is a very nice piece and it is ultra light and thickness of the watch it is a thin watch and another part I do like about it is that if you see how flat it lays if you have a bigger wrist it will not pinch you on the edges like some of the regular G-Shock watches or some of these Casios that are very similar to a G-Shock where they are bent over they do this for protection so when it drops it kind of protects the watch from getting hit on the ground so if you drop this one it, it lays it drops more flat it is a very very nice piece it's very soft the rubber is very flexible on the band a great piece for every Casio collection take one last look at it before we finish up the video and I want to say thank you to everybody that watches and to all my subscribers thank you so much for supporting our channel I appreciate it very much and I'll see you for the next video we got another watch on order but it's just taking a while because the holidays are here and everything is taking a lot of extra time from shipping from Japan to the here to the Philippines